Hello viewers. Continuous descent or climb operation is one of the best practices in terms of fuel saving actions to be executed by pilots. This video tells you more about this best practice. What is continuous descent approach? When a CDA procedure is flown, the aircraft stays higher for a longer time and descends continuously with idle thrust and without steps. A continuous descent requires significantly less engine thrust, by descending at idle thrust the fuel consumption is greatly reduced. The aircraft also flies at a higher level until the optimal top of descent and then performs its descent uninterrupted. What is a continuous climb operation? An operation, in which a departing aircraft climbs without interruption, to the optimum aircraft level, by employing optimum climb engine thrust. These operations are enabled by airspace design, procedure design and ATC involvement. Flight procedure are designed in such a manner that altitude windows safely separate aircraft and allow predictable flight performance. Altitude constraints are clearly defined and expressed with at or above 4, stars, or at or below 4, SIDS. What are the benefits of this practice? Reduces carbon emissions from 150 to 450 kg per flight. Reduces fuel burn by 50 to 150 kg per flight. Cost-effective airlines operations. 100 gallons to 200 gallons of fuel is saved per flight. This will substantially bring down the cost of airline operations. Quitter arrivals and departures. As thrust is reduced the noise impact on ground is also reduced by 2 to 5 decibels. More predictive flight paths. Lesser conflicts and enhanced safety. Increase airspace efficiency and capacity. Delivering continuous descent or climb operations requires a little extra thought and input from everyone involved. Controllers should understand and be aware of how aircraft energy, speed and descent management are influenced by the controller's tactical interventions. En route controllers should pass expected top of descent point early to pilots to allow descent planning to facilitate continuous descent operations. Detect conflicts early and plan your traffic in advance. Try to allot optimum level for SID climb to the approach controllers. Alternatively advice offset parallel headings for the uninterrupted climb. Approach controller should give accurate track distance to touchdown on first descent clearance and any time the distance needs to change, so the crew can manage their profile. Calculate track miles to run, to lose the altitude and monitor the aircraft speed profile. The earlier the better, bigger late track changes are harder for pilots to manage the decent profile. Use the 3x rule but be cognizant of wind and aircraft speed and vary the track distance provided as required. Use minimum clean speed control early to reduce extended track miles. Pilot should be enabled to identify his optimal top of decent or top of climb position and let the flight management system then follow the optimal descent or climb profile. Plan for a low power, low drag descent from as high as possible to minimize fuel use, emissions and noise. Consider energy management. Let's help together to make a better world, fly safe fly green. Be a part of change. Thank you.